Okay, so now what I want to do is look at how we can refine the mat to kind of fit our, or sorry, refine the geometry to fit our mat. So keep in mind that there's a certain decision process that we want to make here. Do we want to refine the, um, uh, do we want to refine the, uh, do we want to manipulate the images in Photoshop to fit our wireframe? We'll just bring these together. Okay, do I want to manipulate the images in Photoshop to manipulate uh, to fit our wireframe, or do I want to manipulate my geometry in Maya to fit the image? Okay, and both are perfectly valid approaches. It just depends on the circumstance. Okay, so um, obviously we, you know, when we built this map, we were manipulating these images to fit the actual frame, uh, to fit. The, uh, to fit the geometry. Now what I want to do is have a look in here and we can see that we can refine bits of this geometry to kind of fit um, uh, uh, to fit our uh, mat. So I'm going to look at this bridge because this is a good example here. This is kind of a more sort of complex geometry and clearly it will be easier really for me to actually just uh, 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 scale this geometry to fit the image rather than the other way round. Okay, otherwise the image is probably going to look a little bit odd if I try and scale this image. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to click on the scale tool and then just going to try and scale this bridge down a bit, sorry, up a little bit. And you can see I'm just going to scale it. I want to scale it so it fits from my perspective. So you can see I want to scale it so it fits this bridge here, okay? Uh, you can see this works quite well, but you can see that the arch doesn't quite fit, especially on this side. It's not quite fitting here, okay? So let's have a look if I can go and select the edge here. In fact, do I want the whole edge? Yeah, let's select the whole edge. And then I'm going to just translate that. I'm going to move it up. Let's have a look. And possibly move it down a bit. You can see I'm just altering the arch to kind of make this fit. Now you can see that I can do that, but actually what's happening is it is the bridge is kind of the, the arch is going out elsewhere. So the problem I've got really is I haven't got enough points really to kind of properly manipulate this bridge. There's, you know, there's not enough resolution to this bridge. Okay. Now an easy way of resolving this is if I go into object mode and select this, okay, I'm just gonna go into um uh, I just want to go and look at the uh, smooth mesh preview settings for this. So I'm going to go into the, um, the uh, cube shape node, okay, and I'm going to look at the smooth mesh preview settings here. And if we look at the um, display subdivisions, this is the subdivisions that we have, okay. What I'd like to do then is actually just bake those subdivisions onto the model, okay. Uh, uh, so actually, basically convert this model. So that, you, so that the mesh is made up of these subdivisions as opposed to uh, uh, the, the, the lower poly that it is at the moment. Um, before you do this, what you might want to do is just make a copy of this model and then just put it on a separate display layer and make it invisible, just so that you've got a copy of it to go back to. Because obviously once you've done this, it is a destructive approach, so you can't really undo it. Okay. Um, obviously you can press undo, but you can't undo it any other way if you need to. Uh, or if you need to go back to the original bridge geometry. So to change this, I'm going to go modify and I want to go convert and I want to convert smooth mesh preview to polygons. Okay. So you see by clicking that, what you'll see is now it's actually taken that smooth mesh and it's made the actual um, bridge that shape, as it were. It's, it's, it's made it that yeah, the, the polygon shape. Okay. Um, now, um, uh, so what I want to do now is go into here. And I can then select, hang on, if I can just do that, select these edges and then obviously just refine the position of these polygons, okay? Uh, what I might want to do actually is just select a whole group of edges, I'm thinking. Let's just pull them in. I might just need to pull that in, just make that flat there. kind of made a little bit of a mess of this but hopefully we can uh, just clean that up Let's have a look. that's not what I wanted 
So what's happened is it's not actually selecting the base of the mesh. So what I might need to do sometimes quite a, a good technique is to go into the perspective view and do our selections from the perspective view where we can actually control what we're seeing a little bit more. The, the key thing is you'll notice that I'm making my adjustments from this view, from the camera projection view. It's important that I do that, otherwise I can't really see uh, the effect that this is having on, 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 on my... Um, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to do this accurately. Okay, so it's quite important that I do it from uh, the actual camera projection view here. Uh, let's have a look. Um, So it's just this base here that's causing me a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's just see if I can select that edge. Yes, yeah, so it's not allowing me to select that edge. So what I might do is just go into vertex mode. And just select this set here. I just want to move that there. And really, I want these to have a straight edge. So I want these to actually be as straight as possible. That looks a bit better. Okay, let's have a look how that looks in here. I think that's an improvement on the situation. And you can see that we can kind of refine what we're doing here. Okay, now um, a good little technique to use as well when you're refining uh, your images um, uh, is overscan. And I'm going to talk about that in the next tutorial. So please have a look at that, okay, uh, in the next tutorial. Okay, so we've refined this shape here. And obviously, we could go a little bit further. We've refined this shape. Now, what I want to do is have a look at the windows here because these windows in this building are actually indented. Okay, so what I want to do is indent the this this uh, um, this um, uh, cube uh, shape that we've got here for this building and make it, you know, and indent it where the windows are so it's, it's fitting the shape of the building a little bit more, okay? And this is going to be really important if I start applying light or anything else to my scene this is going to be really important to kind of get this geometry looking right here, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, first of all, I'm just going to grab this edge here and just move that to where we've got our windowsill here Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just going to go uh, insert, uh, and then I'm going to grab these edges here because we've we've already got these edges. I might as well use them. Okay, so let's grab this edge here. Uh, where's the manipulator for this edge? Obviously, the manipulator seems to be somewhere away from the actual uh, uh, bit that I want to manipulate here. Hang on. And also, sorry, I've also inadvertently turned off soft, on soft selection somehow. I must have pressed a key, a hot key on that one. Uh, so that's just something to be aware of whenever you're doing any kind of manipulation in Maya is not pressing hot keys. Okay, so I just want to turn off my soft select there. Okay, great. Now, where are you, manipulator? Hang on. There we go. Um, so, uh, what I can do is just turn turn this manipulator. I can just. I'm wondering if I just select. I'm going to just try and just see if I can position this using this. What I could do is just move the position of the manipulator so it will be in the in my camera projection view. Let's try that to see if that helps us out. And then hopefully I'll go to the here. So by moving my camera projection manipulator, so I just pressed insert, or I think if you press uh, just hold down D if you're on a Mac. Uh, that will allow you to move the manipulator into the right position. So now that I've moved that manipulator, I can obviously just adjust this and get it into the right position. Great. Same with this. just want to move this manipulator. So it's inside my view. Let's have a look again. 
again. Uh, I want to move it down. Here we go. So now it's inside my view. I can just pull that and manipulate that there. Great. Or I might just put that there for this side of the window. Great. And obviously I've got extra edges that I want there, so I can just easily use the edit mesh. Um, where are we? Mesh tools. Insert edge loop. And just insert edge loops here. Here we go. All the way along. Okay, and obviously what I'm looking at is I'm not looking at the inner edge, I'm looking at the outer edge is, is what I want to do, because I'm going to extrude everything to the inner edge. So it's the outer edge that I'm after here. Let's just... Think that's nearly there okay and then obviously I've got a, a, an edge loop here okay and obviously and I've got an edge loop up here and I think I've got one Ooh, no just control Z that one I'm gonna have an edge loop right at the top just there okay uh, and then obviously I've got an edge loop just here as well sorry if I zoom this out I've got an edge loop here and I've got an edge loop just here, and an edge loop just here. Oh, okay, great. Um, now what I want to do is um, uh, I want to move these parts, these faces, in to represent the windows. So I'm just going to again. Uh, I'm kind of cheating a little bit here. Well, not cheating, but what I'm doing is I'm using the push in to allow me to actually kind of move into here. And that's fine because obviously this is what we're going to be rendering out anyway. So getting the geometry right from this perspective is what I want to do anyway. So that's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go uh, and select these. So I've gone into face mode. I'm just going to select all these faces here now. Oh. Sorry. What I want to do is uh, I've still got my um, uh, uh, insert edge loop uh, tool on. Let's just click on the move tool here and then I should be able to select faces without being in danger of inserting an extra edge loop. Which is certainly not what I want at this stage. Uh, there we go. Uh, and it's worth just zooming out because then I can check what windows I've got in my view here. Uh, okay. Uh, in fact, I don't want to select that one just yet. And I'm going to zoom in again just so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. Here we go. And then what I want to do is I want to extrude these these uh, faces in. So I'm going to go Edit Mesh, Face, Extrude. Okay. And then simply extrude these faces in. Mm, that's not what I wanted. Check I've used the right tool there. I think something might have gone wrong with my uh, selection before I did the extrude, so I'm going to just go double click. I think I had some edges selected as well, actually. Yes, I had some edges selected as well. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to avoid doing that. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with this face here. There's some odd behavior there. That's slightly worrying. But anyway, we'll stick with what we've got. Select these faces again. Okay, and then I'm going to go uh, edit mesh, face extrude, and then just extrude those faces in. Ooh, hang on. Okay, there's something odd with this geometry here, so I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. I don't quite know what I've done there. I think I've slightly broken this geometry, uh, so I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. And we'll do it again. Probably going to go and fix that later. Something odd go happening up there as well. There's definitely something not quite right about what we've done here. Uh, so I'll have a look at that later. But again, edit mesh. Uh, uh, extrude. Oh, hang on. Don't want to do that.
Oh, that should work. Yeah. So I wanted to go extrude face, but I think that's worked. So here we are. And I'm just going to extrude. You can see I can extrude these faces in. Okay. So if I just zoom in a little bit, I can extrude those faces in just enough just to show where that window is. Okay. And then I'm going to do a similar thing with these surfaces here. So I'll just select these faces, go edit mesh. Uh, extrude face extrude and I'm just going to extrude these faces in uh, what I might need to do is I might need to do this from the perspective view so it's a little bit clunky because I can't quite select the handle in the way that I want to but there we are uh, and what this said so all, all we're doing now is just giving this model just the, the, the you know giving it a better shape so so now as we zoom in the you know the uh, the way that this is projecting onto the building should act a bit more sort of naturally. Okay. Um, other things that I can do here as well is if I go into, I can sort of look at this pavement, and you can see this pavement doesn't quite line up where we want it to. So I could, you know, on the edge here and just refine that. So I could get into that as well. And um, so if I go into vertex mode, I can literally, you know, start grabbing these vertexes just literally just adjusting them just to kind of really make sure that they kind of hit the edge of the pavement here and you can see what we need is we the, the, the pavement actually dips in uh, just at this point here it dips into the road it's got like a uh, I forget what the council call it a dropped curve here we are there's a dropped curve there so you what we want to do is make the geometry simulate that as well so again gonna reach for my um, trusty insert edge loop tool okay and you'll see there's particular tools that I kind of use quite regularly for things. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Why, why are we doing that? What's happening there? Let's go into edge mode. Okay. Okay, so my, my insert edge loop tool is acting quite odd. So it shouldn't behave like this for you. But I'm just going to just use it to insert some edge loops. Not sure. What, ah, I think I know what's happening. Uh, in the in the insert edge loop tool, I think what I've done is I've got. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a look at the insert edge loop tool options here. Hang on, edit mesh. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, insert edge loop tool. Let's have a look at the options. Often when you see something's behaving a little bit odd, what you want to do is just reset the tool. Okay, and I'm hoping. That that's then going to make it behave the way I wanted to. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'd obviously just put some weird settings in there. Um, okay, so let's zoom that in, or just move by using the camera. Just get get a bit closer to the bit we want to, where we want to put our drop curve. Um, okay, so I think our drop curve kind of begins there. That's the edge of the drop curve. There's a drop curve there. It sort of starts there. That's great. And then what I'm also thinking is I want to kind of put an extra edge loop here just to have a bit more control over the um, over the shape of the pavement at this point here. And then what I'm going to do is go into vertex mode and then literally just adjust these points as I need to. Okay, hang on. I've still got insert edge loop on, so I want to turn that off and do that. And then just adjust these points here. So these are quite simple adjustments. I think I'm making a bit of a meal of it, but they are quite simple adjustments that we're doing. Uh, so I just want to select this, push this down, push this down here, just to simulate that drop curve now. Okay, and you can see that that's kind of helping the projection kind of fit. Uh, and, and work a little bit better. Okay. Um, obviously, what we want to do is it's nice looking at the projection with this wireframe one. Okay, um, that we've got on at the moment. Let's just turn off the wireframe. I'll go into object mode. Okay. So it's nice looking at it with the wireframe because we can really see where it's lining up. But also, you can get a little bit obsessed with lining up things you don't need to. So you know, if you, it's always good to turn it off and just see how is it how it's working. Is it working? You know, well enough uh, in terms of what we need. Okay. Uh, and, and, and you know, if it's if it's working in terms of the uh, in terms of this view, then it doesn't need any further refinement. Okay. So you know, don't don't. You know, make sure you don't get obsessed with trying to refine things that don't need to be refined. So that's just refining the geometry to fit our mat.